The waters below Antarctica are amongst the most inhospitable environments on our planet or so we thought. It's pitch dark and temperatures are sub-zero, yet, when scientists drilled through an Antarctic ice shelf far from light or warmth, they found a seafloor boulder that's home to several species we may have never seen before. Well, you are watching Gateway to Knowledge and stay tuned to know some of the mystery life forms that have been found in the hostile and dark icy shelf beneath Antarctica. A few of the organisms have been seen in similar locations, but this discovery marks the first time stationary creatures that live their lives attached to one place, such as sponges, have been found in this hostile environment. This discovery is one of those fortunate accidents that pushes ideas in a different direction and shows us that Antarctic marine life is incredibly special and amazingly adapted to a frozen world. The Antarctic ice shelves are permanent, floating rafts connected to the main landmass of the Antarctic continent, and they can be absolutely huge. Because of how unwelcoming the environment below them is and how hard it is to get to, we've explored very little of it. Generally, scientists bore holes in the ice and lower equipment down to take a gander at what's down there. From eight of these borehole surveys, we know that there is life under the ice, usually in the form of small mobile creatures such as fish, jellies, worms, and crustaceans. Filter feeders such as sponges were highly unexpected here, so far from regions where photosynthesis is possible. But below the Filchner ice shelf, the researchers founded a number of organisms attached to a rock, which included one sponge on a stalk, 15 more sponges without stalks, and 22 unidentified stalked organisms that could be sponges, ascidians, hydroids, barnacles, cnidaria, or polychaetes. This discovery raised so many questions such as how did these organisms get there? What are they eating? How long have they been there? How common are these boulders covered in life? Are these the same species as we see outside the ice shelf or are they new species? And what would happen to these communities if the ice shelf collapsed? Most life on Earth relies on the sun for survival. But in the dark depths where no sunlight ever reaches, living things use a different strategy. Around ocean thermal vents that blast out heat and volcanic chemicals, bacteria rely on chemosynthesis to make sugars, forming the basis of a similar food chain. A chemosynthetic ecosystem has also been discovered in a cave in Romania. The organisms in the chemosynthetic ecosystems utilizes hydrogen and methane, buried under the deep icy shelf. To answer our questions the scientists have to find a way of getting up close with these animals in their environment, and that's under 900 meters of ice, 260 kilometers away from the ships where are the labs are. The only way to find that out is by doing a much more detailed study of the organisms and their environment. And that is an extremely challenging prospect. 